Me, me, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to episode 10 of Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a sliding door. Swinging doors are coming next, but today is a sliding door because we're going to make a cool one. All right, so let's open up Radiant. There we go. I already got a map open. It's ready to go. And let's drag out a brush. So let me see what I'm going to make my door as. In fact, let me just make a quick wall. All right. Let me uh, get rid of all these. And I'll make a wall to open up the door with. All right. Don't mind the police. Hopefully you can hear them. Okay, there we have it. All right, so I got my doorway, or at least a hole in the door. And I'm actually going to use this one. There we go. I'm going to shrink it down because when the door slides over, I don't want to see it glitching through. I don't even think it glitches through. Black Ops 3 is amazing. All right, so let's give it a door texture. Go over the door. See what we have for door textures and uh, light decal. No, because we'll walk through that. This one's cool. All right, so there's our door. Now, how do we make this into a sliding door? Now, this is a regular brush. We have to turn this into a script brush model. So we're going to hit B on the keyboard for browser. And then uh, let's look for script. There we go. And you see brush model with the door selected, drag it up on top of it. And there we have it. Now, when we press N on the keyboard and we bring up the entity info, you can see that it says script brush model. So it worked. Now we're going to give it a target name. And uh, this we're going to call anything we want. I'm just going to call it out of one. See if that works. All right. And I'm also going to give it some KVPs. So I'm going to put script underscore vector. That's what's going to make it slide. So zero, space, zero, space, zero. And hit add because we're going to add in the coordinates in a few. All right. Now let's make a trigger. Drag out a brush. Go back over to entity browser and go to trigger. And we're going to use trigger views. There we go. Drop it on there. Now it's a trigger. Now let's give it some KVPs too. Percent on the keyboard. And right where it says target name, because it says trigger views now. So we're going to put target name. And we're going to call this uh, zombie underscore door. Press center, and then we're going to give it a cost. So zombie underscore cost, and we're going to price it at 100 bucks because I ain't got money like that, especially for zombies. And add that. Now we're going to give it a script noteworthy. Script noteworthy, and we're going to call it magic door, and hit add. And escape. All right, cool. So select the door, not the trigger. And let's see which way we want this to rotate on. So right now, if you look at the handle, this blue, red, and green thing, that's the handle. Now it's saying Y goes up and down. X goes left and right. 
y goes forward and back you know so we want this to rotate on well not rotate but uh let's move up on the if anything let's have it yeah let's have it go up so let me move it up there we go and it's completely covered now it says the origin is well it should be about a hundred yeah i see a hundred should be good usually it would say it right over here where it says origin but it's telling us everything on where the item is so let's just leave it at a hundred so we're gonna put a hundred on y i mean on z excuse me because that's up and down so if you see it up and down that's y i mean z excuse me i'm going crazy z z z z all right so if you look at this part where it says vector the first zero is x the second zero is y and the last zero is z so we're going to change the last zero and we're going to put that on 100. If you want it to go higher, you know, you put like 120, 130, 150, you know, like always check it out in game. But 100 is a pretty good amount. I think it's like 100 blocks or um, little mini blocks, but that's still far enough. So I'm going to press enter. Now I'm going to link the trigger to the door and press W and I think it linked it yep it did so always select the trigger and then the door and press W and now it linked them together so now let's say if I uh, copy this door let's see what happens when I copy it let's move it over now the door has a target of auto 2 Let's see what the door says. And target name, auto two. So I basically copied the door and it made it two separate doors. So now I can give this one a different coordinate. So let me deselect it. Let me select the door. And we want this to rotate, well, move on the X. So I'm gonna want it to move that way to the, to the left. So I'm gonna put negative 100 on the X. So I'm going to put this back to zero. Put negative 100. And we'll test this one out too. So we'll have two sliding doors. Let's see how that comes out. And that's about it. All right, let me save it. Because I got to get to work. And let's compile it. Build a map. Let's do it. Now, I didn't put it in the wall, but you know, you guys get the point. It's just to make a sliding door. There we go, almost done. Come on, baby. There we go. All right, let's load up. And let's see how it came out. It's that simple, people. Well, let me not talk before we, I even show it. Let's see how it comes out. But I have faith. I've done this plenty of times. And remember, if you give it the uh, target name, auto one, then whenever you hit spacebar, you'll be able to keep copying it and keep putting it inside your map and just change the coordinates. Now, let's check out this one. There we go. Price at 100. There we go. See it slide it over. And there's this one. Now this one's going to move up. And that's how you make a sliding door. Now for this one, I should have put it at 120 instead of 100. But you guys get the point. And that's how you make a sliding door, guys. Now remember, you can keep copying this. And just make sure the XYZ is right. And you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.
most likely is going to be sliding doors and then zones. So be safe, guys. Thanks for watching.